I was browsing through CodePen and then I saw a have effect that I liked. I thought I might be able to try to recreate it and then make it into a video. So this is what it looks like. Okay. So I think this uh, have animation looks really cool. So I thought it would be nice just to make a video about it. Okay, so please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Alright, I'll see you in the video. <laughs>
the project is here it seems like we have a text but the color is white and so is the background so for now temporarily uh, let's change the background to a different color background color i'm going to say slate blue it's just temporary just to see what we have okay okay there it is so now wh what we're going to do let's go ahead and start the card so to make sure everything doesn't look messy i'm going to do to this outside so card so for the card i'm going to give it a height of 400 pixels 400 pixels and a width of 320 pixels 320 pixels and then we're going to do a border radius border radius of 15 pixels uh, okay so uh let's see okay so now there it is we have a width but we don't have a background so we don't we don't know what it looks like so if i do background color uh, background color to red so just you see oops it's just red i want you to see what it looks like okay so now we have three cards as you can see now they're like close to each other let's give these cards some uh, margins so i'm going to say margin top and bottom zero left and right um, two rem so each card is going to have a m margin okay left and right okay so now like our card looks nice but i want each card to have a different background image okay so these cards have different names so we have card one card two card three so let's select the card one class name okay so the card one it's going to be next to the card because it's not inside so card one and then in here we're going to do a background image background image actually just background not background image and then we're going to do URL and then select the path for the images that you want to use okay so I'm going to do IMG and then I'm going to select the first one Brad okay so I'm also going to position this on the center so background position uh, this one is going to be center center okay so it's going to be nicely centered all right um, down here we're also going to do uh, background size background size something like I don't know 320 pixels 320 pixels actually this 320 pixels it should match the width of the card so the background size is 320 pixels so now it's a bit zoom it's a little zoomed out okay as you can see here all right so now now we have a uh, uh, background size we also need to do overflow hidden here on the on the card class okay so when 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 we have uh, the card what do you want to, what what do you want uh, to happen so when you have uh, the card we want to do like a an effect a zoom in effect okay so to do that i'm going to do and hover the pseudo hover okay i'm going to do background uh, position I want to do left okay so I want the position to be left and then um, the background size I want the background size to be background size to be something big like 500 pixels oh, let's do 520 pixels okay when I have a so see when I have a, the background is getting bigger but there's no transition we want it to be to have a transition inside the card i'm going to do transition uh we can do everything or or you can do the background point seven seconds ease in and ease out oh it's supposed to be transition transition okay ease in and ease out okay i'm going to save this now you have a nice transition but uh, it seems to be very slow we can decrease this to 0.5 seconds okay okay now it's working so now let's do uh cursor as well to pointer so we have that little hand icon here okay everything works fine so in the card when we have a we have nice uh nice animation okay so in here we have the content i want this content to have a position of absolute so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this content yeah content is inside the card and then i'll paste the class and then i'm going to st start selling the content so for the content i want to give it a height of 90 
97% and the width of 97% okay so height 97% width 97% and then the position I feel I'm not going to do the position yet uh, I'm go going to give it a background color so you see what it looks like red so this background color here doesn't matter anymore okay let's save let's see what the content looks like so this is our content height 97 width 97 so we want to center this make sure it's nicely centered so to do that we're going to use position of absolute not relative absolute and then we're going to do left 50 percent and then top 50 percent to make sure it's uh, nicely centered and then transform transform and translate so I want to center this uh, on the x-axis so it's minus 50% and to center on the y-axis it's minus 50% as well okay so it's going to be nicely centered here I don't know why it's taking ages to load uh, oh you see this is uh, this weird thing so the thing is for this position absolute to work uh, its parent container it should have a position of relative so we didn't put the position to relative of the parent container so it will look for the closest relative position so in this case I think the body uh, is the relative position here so we need to put the card component position to relative so it will okay so now as you can see it's working properly okay so now let's give this a border radius of 15 pixels as well 15 pixels it's taking ages to save anyway let, let's continue uh, so after the border radius we can now remove remove this and then we're going to do a border uh, we're going to do one pixel solid and then yellow so i think yellow is a nice color you can use any color that you want okay there it is okay now let's go inside the content so inside the the content we have inner content so for the inner content, I'll put it in here, dot inner content, I want to do a padding, top and bottom is going to be 1 rem, and then left and right is going to be 1.5 rem, okay, so it's like, it's give it a bit of spacing, and then we're going to do display, flex, and then we're going to give it a height of 100%, and then after the height, we're going to do justify content, space between, Okay, so it's going to display them uh, space between accordingly but by default the flex uh, direction is going to be row so we want it to be column okay so it's row we want it to be down here so we're going to do flex direction it's going to be column so the flex direction it will be non column but we want to also make sure these icons are also in in a column okay so what we're going to do is sell do the icons dot icons and then we're going to do display flex okay display flex and then flex direction to column and then inside the icons we have the eye the icon so I want the icon to have a padding top and bottom to have a spacing between them 0.5 rem because by default they don't have spacing okay so now as you can see the icons are now spaced out and also inside the uh, the inner content we have the h3 the heading so I want to give this a font size font size of 1.7 rem okay to make it slightly bigger you can make any values that you want okay there it is it's way bigger now okay so I want I want this to be I don't want the font to be displayed and the, the content to be displayed by default I want the content to be displayed when I hover this card item. So what I'll do is I'll go back to the uh, here to the content. I want to say content. I want to put the transition the left to be minus fifty percent. So it it won't start. So when I hover, I want the pos the left to be back to uh, its original state. Okay. So content. So when I hover like the card, I want the the content to be on its original state. So card 
Okay, content. Okay, so here. So I'm going to say, and hover is, is the card. We're in the card, not the content. So the hover is not inside the content, but inside the card. So when I hover the card, I want the content dot content left to be 50%. Okay, so when I hover this, now left is 50%. But there's no transition in this. So we want a transition to see it coming slowly. So we know it's uh, transitioning nicely. So what we're going to do now is up above here in the card, we have a, nice, we have a transition. Actually, we do have a transition. But I think we need a transition in the content. OK, copy this transition here. It's the same thing. And then we we'll put in the content as well. OK, content. So when I have a the content is transitioning in. OK. So what I'm going to do also is I'm going to remove the background here. OK. When I have the card, I want to give it a border. Not a border, I mean a box shadow. So box shadow. Um, I want to do 10 pixels on the x-axis and then 10 pixels on the y, actually 10 on the y, and then 7 on the x-axis. Or you can do both 10 actually, and then the blur, I want it to be 18 pixels, and then the color is going to be RGBA, red, green, blue, alpha. So it's for, for red, uh, 0, 0, 0, and then for the alpha, it's going to be 0 0.1, actually 0 0.2, the opacity of the blur when we have a. Okay, there it is. So the blur is coming up. Okay, when you have a, okay, so now it's only a matter of copying the content. Um, what I'll do is I'll copy the content here. I'll do this, paste it down here as well. Down here. Okay, so it's only a matter of changing the car, the names. So the second name, what image do I have in here? So this one is going to be. Oops. So this one's going to be <laughs> Heisen Heisenberg. I don't know how to spell the name. I think this is <laughs> this is the correct spelling. Heisenberg. And then this one is going to be Tom Shelby. Okay, I don't even know if these names are correct, whether you know I'm just guessing here. Okay. So what I'll do is now I'll go back and then I'll copy this card. And then I'll change it to card two. And then I'll do, uh, I think it's Heisenberg. Heisen, <laughs> I don't know the wrong spelling. Okay. I'm repeating a lot of styles. I, I wasn't supposed to repeat these styles anyway. I was supposed to style them on the same file, but it doesn't matter anymore. You know, in programming, you shouldn't, you shouldn't repeat yourself, but I'm doing it. But <laughs> I did notice that. Okay, so to make sure you uh, you don't repeat these styles, what you can do is you can say uh, dot card one comma dot card two comma dot card three, and then all the styles that are repeating, and then you put them here, like this background size here. Okay, so you don't have to repeat this background size. You put it in there. What else are we repeating? This one. You, you put it in there. Yeah. Pretty much everything here we're repeating here. So we can like paste everything down here. And then we just go ahead and delete everything here like so. So we don't have to repeat ourselves multiple times. It's a uh, a, it's bad practice to repeat yourself all right so now we, we have m less code okay now save this hopefully now we have three uh, we have three cars now our have animation is working you can make this whatever you want it to look like okay that's it I'll see you on the next video